I'm Les, Adult Programming Librarian at Jessamine County Public Library. And I'm Jacqueline, the Teen Librarian at Jessamine County Public Library. And we're here together, but six feet apart, and we're going to do some felting. Jacqueline and I learned how to make these adorable little felt hedgehogs, and today we're going to show you how. For this craft, you're going to need a foam felting block, an average size felting needle, some scissors, you're going to need core wool felt. This is kind of a cream colored batting. Then you'll need a couple shades of brown felt, a darker brown for the ears and a lighter brown for the feet and the face. And you'll need a little tiny bit of black felt for his nose and eyes. You'll need a needle and thread and you'll need hedgehog fur. Now we found this on Etsy. It feels a lot like an actual hedgehog, maybe not quite as prickly. There are other kinds of just costume fur that are brown and kind of pokey looking that might work as well. But look around on Etsy for hedgehog fur and you'll find this fabric. All right, let's go. Start by creating a three inch square of your hedgehog fur. Now we're going to cut a little square on each corner of our square. We'll do that by making about a half inch cut at a 45 degree angle in each corner. Then we'll go back and nip a little right triangle. Now you have a piece that looks something like a cross. Next we're going to sew each little corner together. So pinch the fabric with the wrong side out and take a needle and thread with a knotted end and whip stitch each corner together. Once you've sewn all of your corners together, you'll have a little pillow. Just turn it right side out. And there you have your hedgehog's back. Now you want to take your core wool in the cream color and fluff it up and then sort of roll it in a ball with your hands. Fit your ball inside your hedgehog's little back and then place it on your felting pad and go ahead and poke it and just keep poking until you have formed a nice ball that fits neatly into the little fur pouch. Once you have a nice round ball felted inside your hedgehog shell, then you're going to want to add a little bit of white felt up towards the top in a cone shape for his nose. Eventually we will cover this in a tan felt to separate it out from the rest of him. But right now we just need it to be a nose shape. Once his nose is kind of a cone shape, then you're going to want to take your tan felt and felt it over the top of the cone so that his nose is a different color from the rest of his body. Once you've finished his nose and it's brown and in a little cone shape, you'll want to work on his feet. For his feet, you'll want to take your tan or light brown felt separate it into four equal parts and then take the felt and stretch it into kind of a long piece and then roll it between your hands like you were making a play-doh snake. Once your piece is stretched out kind of long then you can fold up the end into sort of a paw shape and felt it in. Don't worry if your leg looks a little fat at first. You'll want to keep felting till it's small and hard as you need it. Make sure as you're felting you pick it up and roll it around so that you don't felt it flat. You want to felt it in a cylindrical fashion. Once you have your paws about the size that you want them, you might want to bend them a little and then felt them on the side so that they stay bent. Once your legs are in the shape that you like them, then see about how long you want them. Hold them up to the body and anything that's extra on the back you can cut off. Leave yourself maybe a quarter of an inch to tuck into the felted body with your needle. Use your needle to sort of tuck the felt inside the felt ball. Then if necessary, you can take a little more white felt and put around the edge to make sure that his leg is secured. Once you have his feet on the way you like them, then your little hedgehog's going to need some ears. So you'll take a little bit of brown felt and shape it into kind of a round flat circle. 
and just felt it until it's solid. When you put his ear on, you might want to pinch it a little in the middle before you felt it on right at the border of his shell and his face. For his eyes and nose, you'll take some of that batting black felt and roll them into tiny little balls and then felt them directly onto his face where you think they'll look best. If you want to make them smaller, you can just felt them deeper into his face. And now our little hedgehog friend is all finished. If his shell is having problems staying on, you can take white needle and thread and discreetly sew it into his body. But if your shell's staying on okay, then he's all finished. Thanks for watching. Check out the JCPL YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.